we talk about new lifelines and second chances. This is a rematch once again between Crew and Team Liquid. But Jess, will it be third time lucky for Crew? Can they take a map off of Liquid today? It, they're sort of in a lucky position here because you can forgive them if they come into this tournament and they have a little bit of a trip and stumble. I can forgive any team. Even if some of the favorites were to come in and trip, it could be the same here. Well, we are heading into Prime Gaming Agent Select. Now for Fracture, Whoa. we haven't seen Liquid Hello? play here yes. in a hot minute. And we have a Neon on Soulcas. He's given it to us. Scream It's on the jet as well. And everything is just being turned on its head, Doug. This is what I'm talking about, right? Like Liquid have this to them. And you know, perhaps it's the, the, the way that they build their team takes a little bit longer to fully come to head than someone who plays a bit more traditional and in, in their compositions in the rapples but dropping a, a neon jet on fracture with the breach you, there's so much depth to this agent lineup i love what i'm seeing out of liquid and they haven't even gotten on the map wait until they show stuff imagine a fast lane brimmy stimmy rush up onto a, like even b -O -A, like just yeah. literally and you imagine the speed at which we will see the liquid get onto side that's been a lot of the problem areas for players on this map it's why a lot of players have been avoiding this map i keep asking players and coaches why don't you want to go here well it's tough to you know we've got the ropes in the middle it's tough to traverse it's tough to get on sometimes and defensively we have to rotate so far around the map well you got a neon you're there in three seconds yeah we're all very surprised here at by team liquid and i've got another surprise for you guys at home because it's hypoc standing by with mitchman oh well, a little bit different than what we're used to, High Puck. I mean, certainly in, in terms of height and hair, I suppose, things are uh, looking strange. I'll, I'll take it. In a good way. As a roundabout compliment, you also kind of shaped on a Tom, but... It was we'll mostly we'll aimed at Tom, yeah. yeah that, but uh, moving on into this game, I'm pretty excited to kick this one off because there's a lot of uncertainties, a lot of unknowns coming into this. I mean, the map being one, right? <laughs> this is, uh, exactly. again, I mean, for me, this comes back to similar concerns we've already seen with, with obviously the application of Neon for Liquid. I haven't been sold even in some of the, 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 the I guess, the, the occasions we've seen it. Like Haven. Yeah, and, and there's, there's a map victory here and there, but I'm still not absolutely sold on it. So th th this is kind of one that maybe they're pulling this out early if it works for me, if it's a different look, liquid and different looks though, that's a whole other conversation. Well, together. listen, we're, we're very much used to seeing liquid trying new things. It's what they've always been known for in EMEA, but I have to agree with you, you know, coming into this, I'm really going to be looking at Solkus for value being brought out of that Neon. Yes, we're going to yes. need to see those abilities use because when you think about what they're giving up on the other side crew have the sage coming into this and you will without a doubt see this to be a pivotal part of a lot of rounds i mean dare i say it as well soul cast back on a race that, that, that would almost feel like a, a again a comfort pit something that feels a little more consistent even where i mean soul cast said a, a turbulent performance over the last few months but that's always been a comfort pit right and and where this kind of inconsistency has come from is, is mix and match and soul cast on different agents so i, I don't know if you, you can make an argument for that we'll, we'll have to wait and see we'll, we'll judge it by yeah. by the uh, the outcome i guess That's when we, we'll look smartest right well, exactly yeah we'll wait till the end and then give our predictions that kind of play it's always fun i, I have to say you know Solkus for me he's a player that before he's been on the chopping block of liquid oh, coming yeah. out oh, of yeah. first strike yeah. turned himself around completely became a brand new player from one event to another so he's never really one that you can count down the sky that's it as soon yeah. as that came out oh he was so good to watch. And I imagine you can see some really interesting plays with Neon. But right now, I agree with you. I don't think we've seen enough. No, no. I mean, there's, there's also an argument to be made as well with KO with that. Just that slight adjustment that they yeah, had. Yeah. But again, come back. This Whether or not that we could say that Fracture is maybe an anomaly in, in Liquid, maybe haven't. I, I guess going back to the drawing board, they, they have the benefit of playing some other maps, obviously recently in EMEA, where it's, it's not gone well. Uh, and it's kind of like, yeah, let's scrap what we tried to do here. We've we got to go back to basics. And uh, this one's maybe one that they're still trying to throw something out, see what sticks. Well, I mean, look, for Team Liquid at this point, Going back to basics is what we wanted to see. <laughs> Going to more conventional comps. They come in, they pick a map we don't know what to expect from them. They pull out the neon on Soulcats. All right, Team Liquid. Well, let's see what they have up their sleeve. This is Crew's map pick, and Team Liquid have decided to start on the attack side as we kick things off. I'm seeing a molly from Link right away. That is some early util usage. Straight into a main here. And nobody here on the other side from Crew to greet it. A little bit of utility to slow things down. Kesner actually going to be tucked up. 
on top site here, but no contact even found just yet, Mitch. These smokes are really covering the distance on the way through. Out goes the chamber, but it's a bait for Keston, who's now detected. Great first kill, and his teammates are rallying over to help him. The player's on site, trapped. Oh, that dash, it didn't quite work out. The numbers don't end up in Team Liquid's favor just yet. And with Link being rushed down, this round's looking like it's done, unless Yumpy's got a big clutch. 74 HP, upgrades to a ghost here. I'll have his fault line back online, but we'll retrieve the old orb for the time being now. But again, with where that spike is, it's so difficult to dig out here and whether or not crew are going to overstep the mark and even give him a freebie on the way in. God, look, they're literally triple yeah, peeking yeah. him. A tower of players ready to take him down. And you know, he's not going to take that fight just yet, create a little bit more uncertainty as he moves around in towards the spawn. And nobody's checking it just yet. Nobody's checking it, but here we go. Okay, eventually Mazzino turns an eye, walks in, claims the first round for crew. And that's sort of what you want to see from this composition, Liquid, with these kind of coordinated fast hits. And again, I mean, this is a, a, probably a talking point that's going to span throughout the series, but it's when things go wrong, right? What's the, what's the recovery factor? It's the contingency that's always lacked in some of these plays for Liquid, especially recently. Um, so again, a good indicator for the first round, whether or not, I mean, you throw a couple more of those in and... It comes a little demor demoralizing to, to keep just trying to run it down, but we'll yeah. have to wait and see if they find some success. I do think for Liquid in that round, you know, they run right into the, the stun immediately, and that just slows the pace so much, which I mean, is something they're stone. relying it's a, on. It's a basic defense. Oh, absolutely. Like it is, of course. Yeah, I guess maybe hoping that in the pistol round it wouldn't come through, but yeah, chances of that are pretty damn low. It's stunned up and then gunned up. And when you look at crew with one to zero to play with, they're obviously getting themselves a nice comfy old buy, plenty of oh, rifles yeah. and ranged weapons uh, along with the Spectres. And, and your Team Liquid, a couple of kills would be fantastic. Hard to come by, but Scream's been offered one on a silver platter. We really punished there, actually, with the smoke cover in the cross. He hasn't had no clue that Scream was even that close just yet, but things will slow down now, whether or not... I think we can find anything on the back of that. Mazzino actually going to wall off into tower here. Make noise if he drops down. Of course, they'll hear him. I mean, no progress towards site either, so they're That's actually the considering thing. the rotation already. But there's no pressure towards A either. I mean, full control here under Nagzap. Yeah, it's that utility covering off dish. It's going to give them a, a little bit of an advanced warning once they start to make it up. Uh, to be honest, though, considering especially that it's Solkas there, he can get onto that site so yeah. quickly. I mean, they're going to expect it, for sure. They hear it. They're waiting. They're going to blitz this together. Oh, no, someone's been detected by it. That's a little bit of a mistake. And now you're going to have that player nags and staring right at them. Sulkus already taken Spike down. down the rest of these players, oh, they're just swarmed by Spectres. Nicely handled by crew. And this is uh, exactly how you want to start things off. Just the one loss for them, and it's Kesnik going down. An awful lot of damage done. Yeah, I'm not even sure, actually, I didn't even know Link's smoke situation there, whether or not there was one invested over towards B, but obviously committed the wrong way. With Nagzet tucked in main, he just gets a freebie on Soulcast coming out, desperately trying to clear something on site. We'll come through here, whether or not crew actually going to flex out a little bit, make some attempt to at least put the Spectres to work in the early rounds. Liquid, actually, four light shields across the board. This could, uh, could get interesting here, Ooh. Mitch. They're crunching north side. Look at this. Nevera is all alone, and he's got his utility covering it, but Krueger going for a four-man crunch. He's, he's dead immediately. Oh, that rifle. Solkus needs to get out of there. That's not a fight you can be struggling like that in. It's time to hightail it to the other side of the map. They'll pick up the spike on their way, but Krueger got complete control. They I mean, know what's going on. That, that's the most influential kill to find as well. We look at it just creeping towards the setup, mm -hmm. and now this is where we put the test, right? The, the recovery factor in this round. Solkus tagged up. Very low. That's what catch the uh, the audio cue there, and it's actually pretty close by. Oh, he oh. just gets caught. That's an awkward dash. Oh, Yampy, what? I don't know how he gets away with a double there. Stun coming in towards the site, and well, they're covered up from the flames. So nice and easy, they're gonna get that plant down. Oh, hold on, yeah. tells it goes oh, running ready. through. That was a bit of a solo play. I'm not sure I can get behind that one. Should remaining. be in the bag now. Yampi actually looking for the ace. After 18 HP, whether or not he's going to risk throwing away another rifle here. But Nagzet on the way back in. He's just going to commit to try and find an exit through main. I mean, it would be good with how this round's gone here. You've got to look at 
the bigger picture here and whether or not you can remove any of these weapons at all. But a nice hit on the way in, honestly. I mean, nothing particularly special, nothing with any sort of flair on the way in. But this is the sort of thing, right? It's, it's not being, I guess, tilted after that first kill. And Liquid stabilizing. It'll win out around. They absolutely should, obviously, with the inventory on the board. An absolutely fantastic recovery, considering they started with a four-man crunch on north side. Nevera goes down, and we almost lost Solkas, which would have been a vandal on the floor. I mean, that round could have fallen apart. Hey, I, 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 I mean, with Yampi as well. That's a crossroads, right? That that goes either yep. way. Yampi falls. That does slow down. Over. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are so far behind at that point. You're losing all your utility to breach into the side as well. <laughs> um, but with two to one, I like this. It was a good one. With two to one. Liquid, they get their round on. They only lose the one player right at the very start, but here's where crew get the weapons out. And the operator for Kesdin, it's already taken a skull. That's nuts. Down towards B main and it's Nevera again. It's what they will anticipate is the late round piece here for Liquid, and they should be able to get a good indicator that the rest of Liquid is stacked up outside the fault. That's it, the fault line comes through. The Rolling Thunder sent in response as well, but crew have given up sight. Yeah, what a good round to play retake. These guys are now stacked up, ready with four players to blitz back in pretty much immediately before Liquid have even got the spike down. But these smokes are keeping them back for a moment. They're gonna use utility to push them out of the corner. Yumpy yes, getting tagged up. Scream is down. A blade storm still dancing around looking for heads as Klaus picks up another. The team Liquid side is dwindling. They need a hero to step it up, and it's not gonna be Solkus. Link left alive on 70 HP, four kills to win this one and the defuse well he can't even yeah. deny it yeah no way back in at all for link so clean there and i mean initially after the first body you look at it it's like they haven't played that deep away from sight but then within two or three seconds they've already given up all that like space and they're happy to because they know that there's no this. secondary threat coming through from b main really really nice adjustment there uh, literally on the back of finding the one kill that is the most influential. Same as the previous round. Oh, just saw the replay of it there as well, and he only caught like his his ass cheeks as he came around the corner, and that's why the wall bank came through. With three to one, uh, look, crew have had great ideas already. And like uh, off the bat, when you look you know towards to the A site, the the pistol round that they played using Nagzit as a bait, knowing Come that on, if man. they see Nags, they're not going to expect Kesdin to be tucked down. in. Having those little ideas already makes me so happy because they are clearly prepared um, on this map. But Nags was not prepared for that. No, I think we're the gun there. We'll find the headshot, and yeah, that unfortunately will be sight. It's obviously tucked away with this operator now in it. Pretty tricky position to find value, actually, on the way back in. The spike plant late spike enough here, where planted. everybody from crews, they're already, they're already ready. They, they have so much time on this replay. Oh, Casino with a good kill, but again, Yumpy, same position, and a double kill comes through. That keeps them with control over main. It keeps their flank secure, because he can go back and watch it, even if you lose Nevera, which wouldn't happen. And, and then he had all his utility to work with as well. Man, that is a tough round for Crew as Liquid pick up another. That puts the defender side economy into pretty rough waters. Yeah, and obviously with the Bladestorm being invested, you can't really offset that. I mean, he's at 3850, you know, up to force up here. But Yampi again going huge on the way in there. Scream looking sharp as well, actually, both of those. Ah, I mean, if they can find a Stimmy first blood like that, then they could have found at least one point of weakness to exploit here. As you come through the go, go, go. force here for crew, Nivera this time stands strong. We'll find the first blood in response to the previous round. Oh, that's really yeah, kind of a desperation swing there. Solkus is just continuing on forward, making sure that smoke is clear. They'll grab a plant. That's a, a tough enough round for crew because when you start this out, I wasn't really expecting them to, to go for the buy the way they did to invest. Then they Spike rolled the planted. dice, play a little bit more aggressive, and on the back of that, I mean, the B side is lost almost immediately. Fighting back in here even is, I mean, like, look at what I mean, they've do got. You? No, no well, way. Exactly, yeah. I, I mean, they've got to consider kind of cutting their losses here. Next, it's still not up to that tour to force either. So, again, you look at the two tools that crew have to kind of offset this economy, offset some of these purchases. And they're not there right now. This would actually be a big boom for Liquid, actually. Give him a nice cushion. And Scream actually does have his blades on line. Nevera should have his tour de force as well. So uh, they're, they're, well, you could argue one or two rounds in hand here, even if they 
lose out the next two. Yeah, I mean, they're one away from every ult right now, with the exception of Scream, Scream who's already online. This is a very strong position for Team Liquid to play in because they've got a stranglehold over Crew's economy. They've got ultis on the defender side that, you know, they're not terribly far away. You could have the likes of Nags take out the rifle here and there, but with where the economy is at, it almost feels like Crew need to just reset completely because, look, in this round, it's all two over the rifles, place. It's specters, like, it's, you need to just bite the bullet on one round, let it go, and then come in strong. Yeah, the tendency is to try and, I guess, buffer out what they are bringing in, but so it looks like he's going to try and a little bit aggressive towards Arcade here. Not sure if he was spotted on the swing. He's unnoted as a Still punished. Solkas quick with it there. Couldn't even TP away. Right into three players. You know, someone was going to hit that shot, weren't they? Scream starting to make his way in towards heaven. They're going to easily clear this out, have control. Maybe not so easily. Solk is going down. That's given up a weapon as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Delvin's yeah. got the upgrade. Yeah, that and was the orbital a... strike. Did he push through a smoke yeah, as well? Right he pushed all the way here next to where Delvin's yeah. did. And that smoke's only just faded, so he went right through that. Uh, look, a risky play. One that hasn't paid off this time around, at least. Still plenty to work yeah. with for Team Liquid. Rolling Thunder, if this really gets out of hand and it looks like it might just screams already gone they're on the site they're starting the defuse that's an early rolling thunder coming out and very even got caught in it and they can buy a little bit more time and even get that orbital strike down time oh no that's a lot of damage for kesnan i thought he was gonna go down to it Couple of kills for Team Liquid. They bought enough time here and won the round but it, it certainly wasn't as clean and it was a lot more costly than they wanted it to be I mean, that's what I was about to follow up with there. I mean, what did it cost? Or actually, just the other, yeah, the, well, the orbit strike and the rolling thunder. But again, you got to feel like that's almost a win for crew. The well, round definitely. loss, yes, but we to, said they had to, to bite draw the bullet. Out, yeah, two massive ultimates there from Team Liquid. Again, these are sort of your execution ultimates, right? It's the rolling mm -hmm. thunder. It's 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 the orbital strike. So, I mean, crew definitely happy with that one. Come back in here, finally right now, there. with a full purchase, at least full shields and rifles across the board. You want a couple of gaps play, in utility, though. Play. I mean, you look at Team Liquid, Navera, obviously, he's popped his ultimate, so they have plenty to back them up. I do like that trap, but it's supposed... Oh, no! Oh, he only no. just put the trap that down! Nags is able to take two! A third going in the hands of Klaus, and... Okay, well, they're maybe over-facing a small bit, but that's because Kesnit was here to help out. Wow. <laughs> Through the nice. smoke. Okay. Well, very nicely handled by crew. Uh, if... just like I'm not sure how that trap was not spotted. Or at least hurt. I mean, maybe in the chaos in the fray there, but uh, again, that's ultimately the, the, the single piece of utility that absolutely punishes Liquid. The only thing I can think is maybe if the if the door had been opened, right? Yeah, it could have masked think it. He yep. ran away. That's the only excuse I can give. I mean, eventually the trade's gone through, but then by that point, Kesnitz is already on hand. Yeah, he, he finds the next kill, and again, lucky with the spray. But Link's not got an awful lot to do there to recover that round. And just like that, I mean, with... <laughs> you almost look at now the ultimates. Yeah, obviously Delzik's orbital strike used up previously, but... Yeah, look at it. <laughs> Crew almost feel like they're in a little bit of an advantageous position. Yeah, I mean, it's flip-flopping back and forth with how some of these rounds are going. And you know, there's about to be some difference makers, though, I think. When you look at Team Liquid, we had Nevera pop his old previous round. Didn't really find the success with it, but I've seen that he's bought up an operator before we went out to this pause. You can see Sliggy, the coach of Team Liquid, having some words with the boys, getting the strategies leveled out. I notice this is actually amazing that they have the uh, the monitor beside them as well with the five views so they can see everyone at once and then choose who they want hobs as well. I like that. Okay, we first introduced obviously back at Berlin, wasn't it? When we had everybody on the stage. Yep. Again, it's vital uh, really for obviously making absolute use of these timeouts here. You can you can obviously kind of micromanage, right? If it's absolutely necessary. But coming back into this, I'm not sure. <sighs> I mean, I still don't feel as if Liquid... Did. Yes, we have a couple of oversteps from Crew. I'm, I mean, I'm talking not really to by any fault of his own, really, but Nags there overstepping the mark a couple of times, maybe being caught off in a position where he feels as if he's able to dip his toes and get out quick enough. But mm -hmm. I don't feel like Liquid have really found anything. I was like, guys, actually, let, let's punish this. Let, let, let's keep pushing here. Crew, we haven't actually seen any defensive aggression yet. So when that starts happening, other than finding a first kill, but I wouldn't even call that aggressive. It's so deep 
outside B main with the operator pick I'm talking about. Obviously, the, the bonus round push onto bridge is, is one that you could look at, but I'm worried in some of these buy rounds now that if Liquid has thrown a curveball, what do they do? Well, that's it. I think that's where Liquid kind of have that weakness is when it comes to that you don't look at this roster and go, oh, there's the Angel, there's the Boaster, you know? Like, it, it is something that will you'll struggle a bit more to adapt because you have to you know, play to the whole team and how you're working with. But coming out of a pause, that's where I think Team Liquid gain a whole lot of advantage because you've just had that chat with Sliggy for a minute. He's gone over all the problems that they've had. And now it looks like Team Liquid's idea is to play super defaulty, hold for aggression, and push up They're towards B. They're almost anticipating it. They're, yep. they're literally yep. anticipating crew eventually to start digging a little deeper. But they're well equipped here. I mean, the, the wall comes through so late in A main. Yes, obviously, Scream shows presence to break it, but so that's actually three members of crew committed towards A, I guess on the back of you know, Sentinel Utility to try and anchor towards B, but 30 seconds left now. They know there's at least left. three players here from the Utility that's gone down. Team Liquid are giving it away. It's the B site they want to push, and Nags got caught. Not able to get the shot off with his operator. Rolling Thunder, though, going to delay a little bit. They made it safely into the back of the site. Look who's running on through. Kesnan and Klaus both go down, but they're trying to run down the clock. Crew might be able to win this on time. They just need to stop the plant, and they've not managed to do it. Never mind. They got him just about. We end up with a 5-4 to four score line. I, I felt like I saw the spike stop, and then he got wrecked on the off angle from uh, from the B main, so. I mean, that's one of the most liquid rounds that you could watch. Yeah. Like, yeah again, they, they, they think they're almost kind of big braining this, but crew, even on the lighter side of this setup, they're still here so quickly before liquid are able to capitalize on the space they've created. The utility usage was perfect. It, it was literally perfect. It, again, Nags is so stunned up. I think potentially two or three times, actually, on the back of Soulcast and uh, Yampi's fault line, but even then, they still achieve nothing on the back of it. Yeah, it, it has to be said here, if your crew, you're at five to four, you're stacked up economy-wise, Team Liquid, I need to see something a, a little bit different from them. The default That's round in the previous, they just ran it a little bit too long. And I can appreciate the play to start out. It was definitely the right move, anticipating crew's uh, adaptation. But now that time has been a clear constraint and crew have shown that they can stagger out pushes. Oh, wow, there's re-aggression out of them into main. Klaus gets away with a kill one-to-one -one trading. And Solkis, well, he's going back to try and deal with Klaus. Can't quite find him. Oh, this is an awkward duel because there's actually a teammate coming in to help. Solkis will take down Klaus. All right, well, he's got Fazino as well. Never mind. <laughs> oh, the trade would come through. This Dale's left now, but he's got ahead of the curve a little bit here. I think still on red alert there to find the kill and uh, again it's chaotic uh, i think initially the indicator there is a fantastic pinch coming through from drop but again it, it didn't feel comfortable no, nothing the liquid have done have felt particularly comfortable yet that's it it does definitely feel like they're they're throwing out stuff seeing what sticks and the reality is you know for this map that's what we expected yeah absolutely i mean you could say actually that's something that needed addressing with liquid we were talking about the recovery factor and mm -hmm. actually crew's a perfect example of a team that can play very very chaotic if they want to they, they kind of i mean they thrive in that scenario Launching but smoke. i don't know it's just it, it when you're watching liquid in, in those sorts of rounds it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it they, they can repeat that Sure, but if they keep trading rounds back and forth the way they are, Get I mean, out of my way. for the map that's in it, it's not that terrible of a start. I mean, I'm just concerned for Crew's attack. Like, that's... It's going to be fast and furious. I think that's a given. Yeah, and with the comp that Liquid are running, there's going to be some challenges there if they're not able to win up those straight out duels. There's a dash out of Scream! Oh my! In their faces immediately. The Blade Storm refreshed, and he's looking for more victims. Got that Phantom to work with him, he needs it. Well, um, not anymore, he doesn't. Yeah. I don't know if that was a slight miscommunication there or just losing time on a smoke or what, but punished yeah. for it. And actually now, man advantage here for crew. Link just about managed to get into the corner after planting and then he picks up three. Oh, crew absolutely stopped in their tracks. Molly. Nags will do his best to recover this one. Two players to take down, Link and Solkus. He knows where they both are, at least. There's one of the problems already dealt with. Fortunately, he loses his life getting out of the orbital strike. Six for round. 
what a round from Link. Uh, just when you think it, it's getting to that point where it's like, oh, no, Link would have given a little bit of space yeah. back. Crew are going to find it, man. Advantage on the way back in. But somehow, I mean, the aftershock comes through. I'm not sure if Mazzino just... Like, this has got to be a split second oh, where he doesn't oh, catch Link crossing from the dice. Oh, I've just dropped the uh, I mean, it's... It was. It's crazy. And, and that's the position, ultimately. I mean, Link just puts the, puts the team on his back there. He had a choice in that moment, left or right. He definitely made the right call, took it into that corner. One round left to play with here. We expect to see everything on the table. Dalzik, orbital strike to work with. Team Liquid gonna have more of a vanilla round to play. They're moving in. What they did in the pistol, essentially, fast rushing a main, yeah. moving to the site, and, well, crew played retake again. See how paranoid they are of the bait on top side. Soul cast, though. Has it Nevera find that? What? Apparently. And he's TPing out as well. Solkis is reloading below them. They can hear him. They know that he's there, but they can't get him because Yumpy, he owns that position. Every time he takes a duel there, he gets two. I, I don't know how. I also don't know how Liquid come out of this sad. round, this half on top. To be honest with you, it didn't feel that way throughout it. But they close out 7-5. Yeah, definitely didn't look like a uh, demand or commanding lead by Team Liquid, but... The second half, a couple of questions still to be answered. Let's throw it over to the analyst desk to see if they've got any answers for us. Thank you very much, Mitch. You know we've always got answers for you, so I'll ask us any question next time. But in the beginning of this map, it didn't look great for Liquid, did it? No. It didn't look like they were going to come out of this on top. But Doug, towards the end, they were in the uh, commanding seat. Yeah, but, but the seatbelt wasn't on, right? Like, they were sitting there, but the seatbelt wasn't they're on. Trying I think it was together. Yeah, they're, they're trying to snap it on, right? Hypoc mentioned it. Nothing feels comfortable, no. right? You think about that Link 3K at the end. It was a split second in which he's able to tuck into Cubby to avoid getting popped, and then he swings out and gets three, and that took, it took that kind of heroics for them to win that round. So they're getting there, and it, sure, it doesn't have to be pretty if it works, but it's it's been it's been touch and go. I mean, without uh, the big man on your screen right now, coming into round three, what he popped the 4K? The team didn't necessarily let him get the ace, but he was would have been damn close to getting it. And throughout this half so far, he has been the one that has come up and stepped up. I, I remember seeing a tweet recently, and someone said, it's so funny to me, it never occurred to me that when you play Breach, you're an initiator, and after you use your utility, you should initiate. That's the point of those roles and I said to myself well of course and who better to give you a right display of exactly how to play breach on fracture than this man here I will say however there have been some good breach on the other side from the side of crew as well but yeah. that a main yeah. fault line that we're seeing time and time again from crew the adaptability from team liquid was very quick it only took them until round five to work out the set play defensive strat and especially with the ability and utility that we saw from crew and team liquid went you do this every round all we have to do is wait out your fault line chuck in a stick him, rush down, maybe, yeah, that our Neon can get in on first, and then all they could do to counter that was have a rat corner play. That's not enough to be able to counter it into the future. I mean, that's the problem, right, Doug? Even looking at these highlights, Yumpy's getting the kills in the exact same spot. Right. Crew are just letting him get away with it. Yeah, it's kind of criminal, really. I'm, I'm concerned if there's a time for Liquid to pull away, it's going to be in this half. I think yeah. Crew can be one-dimensional on their attacking halves, and I, and I think Liquid, knowing what they have in place, they could expose that. I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried, Jinsu. They have a, they have a Stimmy and Neon and Jet, yeah, they're coming at you. They're coming. They're not even defending now. They're just going to come at you. I mean, <laughs> defensive side, unfortunately. Statistically, I know they've only played a couple times this year, but that's their best shot. They've not done too well in attack. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, let's jump back into game now with Hypoc and Mitch. Well, it's time to get half number two underway. Crew jumping over to the attack side, and I'm a little bit concerned for Liquid, but they've got that 7-5 to five lead at least. I mean, I'm worried. Liquid almost need to fight fire with fire here. Uh, uh, yes, Crew can be one-dimensional. It's looking pretty all in here in the pistol, so I'll hold that thought for the time being and see how far Crew get with this. Oh, well, they've slowed it down just a smidge. I'm looking up above. navera has got a shorty to play with. He's going to try to TP out of there. <laughs> this is some nasty gameplay, but they're avoiding him completely, moving in towards the site, leaving him in a pretty tough spot. No, no, maybe he's not in a tough spot. He's able to get one. That is just disgusting. And now three bullets in his head, Hunter, to try to take fights after. Let's see if they can set up comfortably. Yeah, I mean, the wall's going to slow things down at least for crew, but they almost need a kill here. Uh, slowing it down is not enough. Scream's actually going to find one. Nags that will fall. Yeah, that's the headhunter removed completely. Now they can start looking towards the side, or so you would think. But the kills come in quickly for crew. Klaus and Delzik doing a damn good job. And that frenzy up close boosted up as well. It's tearing 
them apart, but Wait, Liquid, what? They, they bounce back in a second. Blink and you miss it as eight to five goes on the scoreboard. How? I, I, don't, I don't know. Even everything went right for Crew there. <laughs> I mean, it's it's heartbreaking to lose out when you feel like literally crew had stopped them on the way back through. I mean, the wall, it just goes uh, time and time again, we talk about the impact of Sage Wars, particularly in Pistol Rounds, right? Yeah. It's such a nuisance to deal with, but they slowed him down. I mean, this is perfect timing here. Again, Yampi finding a frenzy headshot tower, of course. Naturally. Of course, that's how it happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking, how did he get Easy that spray. first kill? And yeah, it's, it's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yumpy has been unreal. He's currently 13 to 8. And remember, a lot of those duels were like over towards A site short when Sand. he gets stunned and takes two players down. <laughs> That's Just... the start and end of that story. Sand. Sand, exactly. Oh, wow. Things have been hard in course for Crew so far. It's been a rough start. We'll say that. Coming in, though, Force Buy. They've gone for a pretty decent investment. And, well, they're on the site having lost one player. Right Same walls come up, though, behind the, the smoke. We'll slow things down. Again, Liquid should be able to just take a breather here. Scream actually going to find the Zeno. Soulcast now. Oh, Klaus. Uh, I'm noted yet. Yeah, Klaus, you got to be careful, dude. Oh, Klaus. Good night and sweet dreams. Yeah, this is one of the problems with playing against a Neon on this map, in particular defensive side. They can rotate so damn quickly. Not just to reinforce, but to flank. And that's where you really want to have Nags online for like the whole round, because you need to have that flank security. And potentially, I mean, this this, this could be kind of the the, the sign to say no play a little doubt. deeper here. We're ready. Whether or not they're going to continue with this base. I mean, I cast your mind back to what Doug said, one dimensional. That's pretty much cut and paste the first two rounds over and over. Just yeah. swap the weapons out. So seeing a different setup initially here, but again, it's looking pretty all in. Whether or not they're just going to try and charge down one member of Liquid and try and find an opener here. But looking for a bit of discipline for Liquid, because, I mean, this effectively, if, if this is clean, could be the, the first map right here, to be honest with you. Uh, they're one buy round away, away from closing the map out then. Yep, and they're going to start to have ults coming online! Nivera, man. How can he get away with that? A second <laughs> kill landed. He's back on the site and ready for more. Just to have the absolute cheek to still commit to the second. So, I mean, again, the first kill so disconnected from the, from the death ball, right? That he, yeah. he does have a little space to do. But uh, again, just Nevera things. Screams flanked up behind as you see Mazzino going down. And while well, this is about as easy as they come, the stun. Oh, there you. Well, we'll pretend yeah, we didn't see that. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> no one saw it. I blinked during that. What happened? Yeah, no, no. You see, he was building up the ult for Nevera. Oh, we'll give okay. Nevera an yeah. extra ult orb. Pretty cool, yeah. That's yeah. Just, uh, it's fantastic team ultimate management, actually, by Liquid Death. There we go. Glorious. That was a sliggy call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've practiced that one. Look at this here again. Finds the first. <laughs> the swing is just like a, an immediate nope, but I'm still going to go for it. He doesn't even... It's like he swings and he hits the third guy yeah, from the, the right, yeah. right? It's <laughs> <laughs> right into the pack. Oh, man. 10 to 5. Crew timeout. No surprise. As you said, you know, if you lose this buy round, like if Liquid managed to come in here and win with the weapons that they've got, it, it's game over, man. Start looking at map two. I, I feel like it's, it's just... It's so hard to come back from that. And again, crew have learned nothing from these first few rounds, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. they're, 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 again, similar to what we were talking about with Liquid, right? They, they haven't really found a, a point of weakness. They don't even... I mean, you've got to argue, they don't even have a good feel for the setup just yet. Don't let them so ever headshot you. Well, there's a good strat. Lesson number one, right? <laughs> and actually, in the second is don't let Scream headshot you. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the yeah. age old. You want to text Sliggy some of these during the timeout? I might feed it back. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You think you're thinking Conflict of interest, is it? Yeah. Maybe. Guess. But this is the thing. Uh, how do crew come into this? Because it, it's so fragile in, in terms of the money here. You have to pin an awful lot on one round. Uh, and I, I just I don't feel as if you, you're, you're relying on a blind exit. Uh, there, there, there's no yeah, there's no yeah. data. Uh, there's no tape for this to come in and say actually you know we have a really good feel for what Liquid are doing recently here and how yeah. they play this. I mean, there's a neon on the board as well. So it's it's literally just definition of anomaly. I tell you, it, it's one of the worst things as well, because I can imagine the crew came into this and said, oh, we've got them. We've got them, guys. They left the fracture open for us. And now they're sat there going, oh, no, I think they wanted this. <laughs> I think they were ready. And it's certainly looking like it. They're 10 to 5 right now. And this round right here, this is a swing round. If Team Liquid win, 
Uh, it's it's going to be a disaster. It's looking pretty invested right now up towards Bridge. A little bit of presence shown towards Dish right now. Actually, will force away Soulcast. So at least space found initially, but can they convert this? <laughs> he did not just try to running, jumping, shoot someone with a marshal. If he had have hit that, he did. <laughs> You're a bad person, Navera. I hope you know that. I mean, he's actually pretty huge. If he gets a kill, it's all the forces online. Look at this, though. Crew all the way over on the B side. They made that early noise. They showed a lot of players, and now they're going to reap the rewards of those rotates that have come through. Team Liquid on a low buy. They know they're going to be much more sporadic, much more likely to stack up a site with limited information. So they've made the right call going towards the light side. But How quickly the walls dealt with this oh, time no. around. Yeah, because Liquid started to rotate. Oh, if he this fires that off. Oh, my God. Oh, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. This is getting very, very scary, High Puck, because Crew, they've got two less players. Team Liquid have all their utility, and that Rolling Thunder, they need to find a kill off the back of it, and they can't. Is he going to hold that? Yeah, to post it towards spawn. Oh, man, none of these duels are working out. Crew finally have Klaus stepping it up, but it's too little too late. A bonus round for Team Liquid, and I'll say that that looked like a very convincing bonus as well. They are certainly in control of this game. I mean, I, I get the intention. Actually, they have the, the, the benefit of Liquid drifting away from the side where they don't have the chamber utility to rely on, right? Mm -hmm. They almost walk back into this blind. But then with the lack of weapons, they're still able to retake that. It starts with how quickly that wall is broken as well. well. You know, I, I said crew. And, that, and that's so key as well, because mm -hmm. that's that's been absolutely pivotal to crew even finding some sort of comfort on the way in, trying to isolate one kill. Getting a plan safely, being able to back out, like. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. talk about his one yeah. pass, Mitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wall bang yeah. through a smoke. Yeah. With just a after the wall with breaks. A with a bulldog. Yeah. And yeah. he was spraying the wall. That's mm -hmm. the best part. He wasn't even trying to kill anyone. Yes. <laughs> That's the unluckiest thing in the moment that it happened as well. Look at this aggression out of Solkus. It's time to get back though, because they've got pistols, and I think he's already learned his lesson about giving them rifles for free. Uh, okay, luckily Solkus is still there. We'll find his third. Eventually traded out. Screen now, 6 HP. We're going to try and farm up a couple of these Ecos now, but here's the next step. Oh, well, there was the next step. Now they're going to pretty quickly deal with Yampi. Screen tagged up, so he can't even concede a body shot right now. Actually, the Spectre will make it even more difficult for him. But the flank's already coming through. See already Link and Nevera both posted up. Find the first. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. That was great damage. If was you consider it, was close. Ends up connecting a headshot there, another body, maybe, Match maybe. Point. Nevera goes down in the round, screen falls like apart. Sub 10 HP yeah, he's 6 well. HP. But even then, he stayed alive for so long. Yeah, that mm. last round, though, for Crew, it's like they they were in a position where they allowed Liquid to rotate. They had enough players to break the wall, to get that kill through the smoke, to then blitz them. This time, they tried to up the pace to no avail. 12-5. I mean, that's a, that is a tough comeback for Crew so any, far. Uh, I haven't been able to do uppers? anything. Any double uppers? Why not? You want to play? Let's Why not? play. Yumpy and Navarro with operators. Uh, that's a pretty scary thought. Justin, they're both towards A as well. Yampy's on rope, so again, this deep trap. I get spotted by it as well. That's a default line on the back of the trap as well. will slow things down, but Yampy now, look at it. He can just post up on this angle. The fault line came in so quickly. Oh, crew already moving towards the site, but yeah, there's Yampy ready on the angle. Doesn't catch the second player coming down, but they've already done enough at this point. Gotta be happy leaving them with a man disadvantage as the plant comes through. Take a look at what crew have to work with. One away from Rez. They would absolutely love a kill from Zeno right now. And nothing on offer for Team Liquid. As they just uh, slow this down, they're gonna look to push a player out of position. It's Mazzino in the back site that's being pushed. Good flash though, gets him into safety. We'll keep the players alive on crew for now. That duel has to be taken eventually, and it's Team Liquid to speed it up. Solkus already moving into the back of the site. He's just distracting them, waiting for the wall to go down. Solkus is just tearing them to shreds. He shouldn't have been able to do that much damage. And in the end, 
It's Team Liquid's map 13 to 5. A solid performance and a map that we weren't really sure what to expect. And I'll tell you what, people at home didn't get to see the fake agents like we had earlier. I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, there, there is that. But I mean, it, just to come back, uh, to say that it wasn't convincing in the first, the second, night and day. Again, you could, you could argue with Crew's start there. It's, it's rough, obviously, things decided almost by the pistol and then the force in round two, but Liquid just so much more composed. Nothing was kind of like, you know, breaking a sweat. It was almost like yeah. they, they stick to a couple of early round plans and it pays off massive for them. Even that round where they massively over-rotate, again, that paranoia that they're on the bonus round and yeah. the retakes can be very, very difficult. They try to prevent any entry from drop for, uh, by crew, and uh, even then they still get back into a position where they can contest the site before the spike comes through. So, massively impressed from that from Liquid, honestly. You know, it started out so well for crew. That setup that we just saw from them where they managed to get the bait in for Kesnit, and it worked perfectly. I was loving oh, wow. that. But these kind of plays. Yumpy being able to take two while stunned up and being peaked. And I mean, every time this guy came towards that position, he was taking minimum two. When you got a guy popping off like that, keeping them in it in half number one, and then they come out just swinging in number two, it really worries me, because I think Cruz started this one out thinking, we've caught them off guard, we've got a good map for yeah. us here, and now they're waking up to a very different reality. Uh, I mean, as well, when, when you almost, you do have to have a little arrogance for those sorts of forces, but uh, again, the scoreline kind of dictates it, but, uh, but after that, for me, I mean, mathematically, it just becomes so difficult to work back in. I mean, the finances, right? Liquid can then be the ones to throw a curve for, right? And actually, I mean, credit to Soulcast and, and Scream. It's the first time, actually, in a long time, we've seen a double duelist composition actually work for Liquid, right? Where, where there's two to kind of play off each other, bait each other in and whatnot. So that's that's a really good indicator here in the first, first game for Liquid. So all together, I'm going to ask you, how are we feeling about the, the neon coming out of that one? Because I felt like Sulk has got a lot more done than I was expecting him to. And a lot more done than we've seen previously. I think that's a, that's a fair assessment. Uh, I'm still not absolutely sold. Value whether or not put Soulcast back on something comfortable like Raze. Uh, again, we see obviously Fnatic kind of come out swinging in, in terms of the application of Raze on Fracture. I think one of the best to do yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I was still there. He, he had a good game. We'll, we'll leave it at that. He did. He had a good game. A good map, at least. Still plenty of the